I think that was a reason for Tim Allen to show his stomach. Oh, he just wants to be shirtless. Hello again, friends, and if you're new to the channel, welcome. For today's video, we are watching Galaxy Quest. It's a 1999 film. I don't actually know what it's about. Um, I did see that Star Trek was recommended next, so I think that it's um, a space travel-esque film. Um, but other than that, I don't know what it is. Uh, so let's get into it. <laughs> And for those of you who are not yet subscribed, please be sure to subscribe. It helps the channel so incredibly much. And you also get to see when my latest videos drop. And don't forget, if you like the video, leave a like. And if you also want to take your support a step further, the link to my Patreon will be down below in the description. There, you can vote on what film I'll be watching next, as well as access to my full review of each film. Now, I will shut up. Let's get on to the movie. Let's enjoy this. But... Before we go any further, I did want to thank today's sponsor, Skillshare. With Skillshare, I'm able to learn all of the different skills and topics that I've always wanted to, like vlogging. For example, I am going to attempt my uh, take at vlogging. I don't know how it's going to go, so that's why I'm relying on Skillshare to help me out with that. So I found this class called How to Vlog, A Complete Beginner's Guide by Jevin Dovey. I figured if I'm going to be traveling, I'm mean, going on all of these adventures, I figure why not bring everyone along for the ride? Other than me being extremely excited about this class, I did want to mention that all of Skillshare's classes are ad-free, so it's easier to stay focused. Not to mention, Skillshare is always refreshing their library, so there's always something new and interesting to find for everyone. The first thousand of my subscribers to click the link in the description will get a free month of premium membership so you can learn a bit about yourself and explore your creativity. Thank you again to Skillshare for giving me the tools in order to learn a bit more about myself as well as expand my wide array of knowledge. I'm very excited for potential vlogs in the future and I hope you guys are too. We are alive. Is that Alan Rickman? All systems are Sigourney working. Weaver? Is that her? I don't like it. Tim Allen. It's a comedy, it, right? Unless it's a Christmas movie, because I see Tim Allen. It's a core meltdown, sir. It can't be stopped. Oh, uh, oh, uh, the, the actor who plays Monk. Huh? Convention? Oh, so it's like a series that people like. Okay, so this is like a huge fan base, like Star Wars or Star Trek, okay. They're gonna start eating each other out there. Oh, did you hear? He booked another appearance without us. You're kidding. Okay, so this crew clearly has some issues with one another. And they look like they've all aged a bit. Okay, you had a character people loved. I mean, my TV Guide interview was six paragraphs about my boobs and how they fit into my suit. Whew! <laughs> <laughs> Your commander is on deck. Oh no, Tim Allen. Oh no. Is he trying to break into cookies, that one? My personal favorite, Gwen DeMarco! Oh, so she's like supposed to be the hot one, I guess. That everybody's like, oh my god, I love you. Judging by the music. And finally, a brave commander. Jason! So he's the star. Everyone loves him. He's the captain. This looks like a spin-off of Star Trek to me. Big time. Tim Allen spin on it. On Star Trek. By Grabthar's hammer, by the sons of Warvan, I shall avenge you. Oh, Allen is not Alexander is not having it. Sorry, Allen. How did you know what to do? Come on. Got my crew. I'm not a commander, huh? Aw, he's such a nice guy. But he seems very full of himself and his... They really do love him. But his crew doesn't. Yeah, almost as much as he loves himself. That's what I was just saying! Excuse me? Is that I Dwight? You, it is a matter of supreme importance. We are Thermians from the Klaatu Nebula. And we need your help. <laughs> She was on some crime show as the, the, the person. I don't know what they're called. And then it's Dwight. His name is Rain something. Did you check out Nesmith? He actually gets oh, yeah. off on those retards <laughs> thinking he's a space commander. It's just the haters. Tim, do not listen to him. It's just haters. There's haters everywhere. You see how much everyone else loves you. You did the, the B for Gamma Override. The thing is that- Justin Long. His name is Justin Long. He's so little, like a little baby. And I must say that standing here in your presence is the greatest honor we have. Very weird view. They're all staring at it. At his butt. Would you guys look for another shoe that looks like this, please? Oh. Why do they all look up? They're looking outside and up for a shoe. Are you sh sure they, they aren't aliens? Doesn't she talk? Her translator is broken. <laughs> I'm 
gonna just shut my eyes for a bit. Go on, and I'm listening to everything you say, okay? He's just resting his eyes. Oh, they're taking him to a dark alley. Very comforting. Whoa, whoa, whoa. Wait, what? They're actual aliens. General, I have just received word the Thermians have appointed a new commander. Okay, I did not ex expect this. Oh, they're so evil. Look at how evil they look. They look like the definition of evil. Those are some bad dudes right there. We're approaching in five ticks, sir. Command to slow. Uh, set it on screensaver two. Oh, they are, they are not laughing. They bring a new commander. That's good. Here That's good. I mean, you know, it looks like... real. Then there will be blood. I really liked the, the design of the evil guy. He looks very menacing. Like, if I saw him on a screen, I'd be like, uh, I don't care if this is fake, get me out of here. He is too scary. I don't like this updated version of Predator over here. Oh, can we thank you, Commander? You have saved our people. I don't think he did. Something's gonna happen to him. I love these 90s effects. I should have expected by seeing everyone within the first, like, minute of the movie, it was gonna be a comedy. Oh my gosh, they're gonna shoot him into space! Dude, if I were him, I would be screaming. I would be so scared. Why did they put him outside the ship? Are they sacrificing him to, to Saturn over here? What's happening? Okay. Oh, straight to um, a black hole? Oh, you just wanted to kill him is, is what happened. Guys, I was there. I was up there. They were aliens. They were termites or, or Dalmatians. I can't really remember because I was kind of hungover. Those are uh, things on Earth. Very Earth-like. I got to fight this guy named Sarah and I kicked his ass. What was he, what did he take last night? However, he has Saris. contacted us and wishes to negotiate a surrender. We humbly implore you to come negotiate the terms. They want me back and I want you guys to go with me, please. They should so come. I mean, who knows the next time he'll ask us. Fred, he was drunk. You really think he was talking about a job? But you live with your mother. <gasps> Jason from But you live with your mother. Best turn down I've ever heard in a movie. He peed himself. He looks like he peed himself. They're laughing. They're partying. It's a celebration. I'm calling it right now. Never mind. Dude, I would be so scared. I would be so scared. This is so scary. Why, why is this octopus holding machinery and weapons? Oh, they're checking temperature? I don't know. What, what are you even doing? Is that a fidget spinner? High tech one? Oh, those are friendlies? Oh, he's next, he's next. That was a hell of a thing. <laughs> he wasn't even faced. This is normal for you? <laughs> we have modeled every aspect of our society from your example, and it has saved us. Aww, that's really kind. This is actually really sweet. These aliens are so sweet. But how did how did the the historical documents get to aliens? Does that mean other aliens are watching like shows from here? Are there aliens somewhere that watch like Family Guy and New Girl and stuff? <laughs> Cowboy Bebop. Remember, some of the crew has requested to be present at this historic event. He is like a minion. I love it. No pressure. Huh? I'm glad I ain't the commander. Laredo, take us out. <laughs> Excuse me. They designed those controls after watching you. He was also like 12 when it was filmed. So I don't know if that's a good idea. Putting everyone's lives at risk. You're gonna move to the right. Move more to the right. Would you sit, sit your ass out. down? <laughs> sit. Oh, you <laughs> Please, you're gonna kill everyone. You're gonna kill everyone. <laughs> oh, their poor ship. Mm. That is horrible. You heard about the device, the Omega-13. What is it? What does it do? We were hoping you could enlighten us. I like that they run off of blue Gatorade, this whole civilization. We don't know what it does either. Why don't you just turn it on and see what it does? <laughs> <laughs> I too react like that to things. The device would act as a molecular explosive, causing a chain reaction that would obliterate all matter in the universe. No wonder he wants it. I have raised Ceres on Zeta frequency. Mathazar, it might be- We meet again! Come back! I like that he yells. <laughs> he just yells instead of speaking. Red uh, thingy, You're moving toward the green thingy. Why does he look like he's constantly like peeing himself? 
A little present for you, Commander. No. <laughs> okay, that's when you fire back. Everything you got, all the garbage and trash, you throw it at this man. What kind of ship is this? I'm sorry, but that's an ugly ship. This is the Tothian minefield left standing from the Great War of 12185. Oh, comforting. A minefield? Oh, no, no. Oh, no, 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 no. <gasps> I also love that they're interjecting their own type of space history. It makes me so jealous that we have not made contact with aliens yet. And yes, they have to exist. There's no possibility of them not existing. Continue forward, sir. I don't, I don't want this to exist in the universe, though. Patience, like, like, only good aliens, please. It made him very expressive, too. I'm really impressed with the villain in this film. I really do think the quality of him is... How are they going to survive this? Literally, how? This must have been really fun to film. <laughs> I've been trying my hardest not to laugh. It's my fault. We are not the people you think we are. I don't understand. I feel so bad. He seems so happy and pure. Ugh. It is a concept we are beginning to learn at some great cost. But if you are saying that any of you could have traits in common with Ceres... <laughs> is that them being stressed? Do they laugh when they're stressed? Though I am Thermian, I have lived my life by your philosophy. By the code of the Maktar. By Grabthar's hammer, Dr. Lazarus. Don't do that. I'm not kidding. I do want to point out that I do think Alan Rickman's eyebrows are on fleek in this film. I think they are wonderful. They're one of my favorite parts of this whole film. <laughs> are we there yet? Very coming! This is so exciting. Yeah. Oh, no, no, no. Where are they going to land? Oh, my gosh. What? He is so... He's, he's so nihilistic. He just does not care. But he's like, if we die, we die. Do they not have weapons? There they are, beryllium spheres. Are they even safe enough to touch your hands? You gotta be careful with that kind of stuff. <gasps> oh, hi. They're probably really cute, but super vicious. Flagman, you set up a perimeter and Tommy, your lookout. You see anything at all, you give us a signal, all right? Okay, I'll do my hands like this. And I'll... Cool, cool. What are you, an infant? Look, we have these. I like the caw caw better though. You can't rely on the technology. What if it glitches? Then you're all done. Where's your gun? Oh, oh, oh they have a gun. Oh, they do have a weapon. Okay, that they'll they'll be safe at least a bit. Oh, oh, Jason! <laughs> Why are they so mean though? They're like little babies. They do look like carnivores though. <gasps> okay, honestly, Alexander had it coming to him. It looks like a child. That's what your children look like? Like full grown men? Oh, we're in Star Wars? Oh, I don't like those sounds. Oh, they want him to fight. Interesting little animals. Jason, we're gonna use the digital conveyor to get you out of there. Theoretically, the mechanism is fully operational. It was designed watching his motions from the historical document. <gasps> oh no. Stand back, Jason. Why would you want to bring it to the ship? <laughs> okay, good thing they didn't do that with him. Oh no, everything's fine. But the animal is inside out. I heard that. It turned inside out? <laughs> And exploded. And it exploded. How did he say that with a straight face? I don't think the pig lizard was gorgeous. <gasps> what the hell are you talking about? Oh, oh, can you transport the rock man then? Oh, he's big. I don't think it, it can turn inside out and explode in the ship with everyone uh, uh, safely. Oh, this looks like Spy Kids. Um, This looks like Spy Kids animation. When did we start watching Spy Kids, dude? It reminds me of like the thumb dudes. You construct a weapon. Look around you. Can you form some sort of rudimentary lathe? A lathe! <laughs> Gotta get slapped. You can do it, friends. Up to you. Jason, I'll just, I'll just mess it up. You did it before you saw the show. Do it now. I think that was a reason for Tim Allen to show his stomach. 
Oh, he just wants to be shirtless. <laughs> he so just wants to be shirtless. If anything, I want to die up there. Inside out and exploded. Oh, so that's how the rock monster attacks. It just, just falls on people. So you managed to get your shirt off. I say the same thing. Oh no, sir. We have no reason to go back. Sure you do. Family, friends, come on. We are all that is left. Oh, uh, can't you stay on Earth with them, please? He looks like he's trying to smile through the pain. That's sad. <gasps> I was gonna say he's here! Ugh. Walmart predator over here. So, like, what if you punch him? What happens? Do you think I'm a fool? Hey, the you look like one. does not know every bolt, every weld in his ship. Prepare a tear harness for the female. <gasps> a tear harness does not sound good. That does not sound like something anyone wants to do. Computer, show the historical documents of the Galaxy Quest missions. He's like, I love TV. This is my favorite show. He's very menacing. Explain to him who you all really are. Okay, I don't think any alien would really care that much or be that like gentle. My name is Jason Nesmith. I am a actor. We're all actors. We pretended. That's so sad. He just wanted to help, though. God, I am so sorry. His whole life, his whole civilization is a lie. Let the air in a bit for our friends. Release them into space. This guy sucks. First of all, how, since when does this villain have, like, moral values to be like, tell the truth. And then on top of that, kill all the rest of the civilization off and launch the rest into space. Bad villain. I hate him. Cool design, but bad villain. You're starting to act like you did in episode 17. You scene stealing hack. Oh, <gasps> he's catching on. Oh, <gasps> they're using their acting as a skill to distract and take out the bad guys. Very nice. Get to the barracks, see if you can't wedge the door in case they can't do that. Okay. Wait, Jason, what about me? What do I do? You gotta practice driving. I'm a bit bummed that Justin Long and Rain aren't a bigger part of this film. I really want to see more of them. I'm pretty sure you don't know how to shut down a neutron reactor either. No, I don't. But I know someone who does. Brendan, honey. Is it Justin Long? Mother, I'm quite busy. Uh, just 10 more minutes, okay, Ma? I promise. How did I know? I mentioned it right away. Are you kidding me? That's hilarious. That is wonderful. <sighs> My wish has been granted. I am so happy about this. I knew he deserved a bigger part, and he got it. Look how little he is. How do you even act, bro? Hi, Brandon. No time for pleasantries, Kyle. We have a level five emergency. This is actually super refreshing and such a nice film. It's funny, it's wholesome, and... It's immersive. I'm having so much fun watching this. This is really great. Oh. Never mind. If they blow isn't it if they blow up the Omega 13, then the whole universe goes too? Myself and others are convinced that what it is is a matter rearranger, affecting a 13-second time jump to the past. A bit cheesy, but I I I I see that they're gonna use it later in the film. I see it. I'd rather go out of here than a cow. God, maybe. You're the plucky comic relief. You ever think about that? Plucky? Oh, besides, <laughs> I just had this really interesting idea. <laughs> what is he doing? His laugh is hilarious and his smile, feel good. So feel good. Oh, well, screw that. <laughs> There's no useful purpose for there to be a bunch of choppy, crushy things in the- <laughs> I agree. This looks like a lot of fun, you know, if it wasn't going to try and kill you. This just looks like a lot of fun to do. Oh, flames. Hmm. Comforting. Oh, they got the rock monster in here. That's a wonderful idea. <laughs> it's the simple things in life you treasure. I agree. It really is. Uh, better get to they haven't even won yet. Please get a room, you two. Hey, Fred. <laughs> I'm so uncomfortable. <laughs> I'm just kidding. That was funny. I'm shot. <gasps> it has been my greatest honor to serve with you. You'll forgive my impertinence, sir. I always considered you as a father to me. 
Okay, that that's a bit teary teary eyed. By the sons of Warvan, you shall be avenged. That was really sweet. He also just had like a a blue ring pop. Avenge your son, your alien son that you were just bestowed upon ten seconds ago. Oh, he is angry. Dropkick him! Or body slam him, that also works. Get armor back up! Get me forward! I really like how dedicated this film got to the set. It is definitely very convincing. My ship will tear through yours like tissue paper. Tissue. He's and very slimy. My ship is dragging mines. Oh, get wrecked. That was great. That was great. They really, everything they learned, they used against Saris and these stupid wish.com predators, and they saved the entire civilization. What's the matter, Mathazar? My people have no commander. Mathazar, I think your people have a great commander. So heartwarming, I can't. And the acting is so wholesome, so sweet. They picked perfect actors for this. <gasps> like he's not about to yup sarah sucks everyone should kill him like right now are you telling me this is really how the movie's gonna end tell me this is one big episode this is one big episode i'm calling it that was a big risk okay it either it either explodes the entire universe or you go back 13 seconds huge risk <laughs> I'm murdering this man. <laughs> Malthazar? Never give up, never surrender. <laughs> I love him. I love him so much. His voice, I can't get over it. Crew to the secondary deck. Goodbye, my friends. I'm actually so sad. Is there Galaxy Quest 2? This is so fun. How have I not seen this before? It's so cute. Oh, well, they're gonna stay together. Actually, so sweet. I can't handle this. So this is so sweet. All right, now to tell the the governments about uh, aliens and Malthazar. Oh my gosh! Do you know how mad I would be if my car was one of those cars? Like, I'm not even done paying it off. I would be so upset. Like, how do you explain that? Sorry, my car got um ran over by an alien ship trying to park in this parking lot. I don't even think I don't think insurance would cover that. Really. <gasps> oh yeah, shoot him! Yeah, shoot him! Shoot him with the, the nerf guns. Oh, that was a clean explosion. At least no guts got on anyone in the crowd. That is... that Their show is getting a reboot. That's what's gonna happen. This... This film was such a joy to watch. I'm like... I can't stop smiling. What'd I say? They got a reboot. <laughs> the look! Wow, I'm not used to the credits abruptly coming in. Oh, that was so good. We are on a 1999 film roll, and I'm loving it. This was so great. Guys, thank you. Hey guys, so we just finished watching Galaxy Quest and I do have to say that it is overall such a solid film. It has so much drama, it had so many funny moments, it is hilarious. I genuinely was laughing. The acting was phenomenal. The aliens were so funny, I can't handle it. I'm surprised that I haven't seen it sooner. The character designs, the creatures, the aliens, the execution of the acting, all of the designs, the settings, it was it felt authentic it didn't i originally went into this movie thinking it was basically like a star trek parody which is kind of what it seems like but it felt it felt its own way authentic and i really respect this film for it i really did enjoy it and i hope you guys enjoyed watching it along with me and enjoyed it as much as i did let me know what you guys thought in the comments below i'd love to hear your thoughts and i'll see you guys for the next video bye everyone